Today we're going to build a Star Wars X-Wing fighter on the Anycubic S1. Hey, welcome back to Advanced Geekery. My name is David Gewertz and today we are going to build an X-Wing fighter on the Anycubic S1. But before we do, I want to show you something really cool coming out of the Creality K2. Take a look at this. This guy just came out of the K2. Just look at that thing. Look how amazing that thing looks, right? But check it out too. On this side, it's green. And on this side, it's blue. Now I am not entirely sure how the filament pulled that off because I didn't do any special settings. I just put it in and printed. But I'll leave the filament listed down below so if you want to try it, you can do it. Just check the thing out. I mean it's huge. It's huge. It's it's I mean it's it's big. So anyway, now that you've seen this, I just wanted to show it off. Let's take a look at the X-Wing fighter. So this is the S1 and the X-Wing fighter was printed on this and it started as a kit, which basically means it looks like one of those old plastic model kits and printed flat and you take it off of the sprues. So let's make it, let's build it, let's assemble it, let's put it together. Let's go. The program is sponsored in part by the Advanced Geekery Weekly Newsletter. Want exclusive access to my latest ZDNet articles, behind the scenes updates on my projects, and must watch YouTube videos curated just for you? How about fascinating reads from around the web and a chance to have your own projects spotlighted? It's all in the newsletter. And the best part, subscribing is absolutely free. Don't wait, click the link below to get your weekly issue and make it awesome. Our primary work today is another test print from the Anycubic S1. In this case, it's a kit. And as you can see, the entire thing is printed in place in one piece with, you know, plastic model kit sprues and all of that. So we're going to put that together today. All right, so we've got this. And let's see if we can pull it off of here. Well, I got part of it off. There we go. All right. Well, that took a lot of work. Hopefully it didn't damage the bottom of it to be too ugly, but that took a lot of work. Let's start taking the parts off the parts thing. I mean, it's kind of interesting because this is what the assembly model kit was like when I was a kid. You just cut them off the sprues. Now I'm doing them a little bit farther away just to get the plastic pieces apart and then I will clean them up after I get them off. And I haven't done taking a plastic kit off of sprues since I was like 12. That was about when I discovered girls and the plastic kits kind of went by the wayside. Also, when I did this as a kid, I wasn't also trying to get it on four cameras. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go offline and I'm just going to clean up all these messy sprues off of all this stuff. And you can see how pretty that is. That's the sort of showcase piece. And that's all 3D printed on the S1. Okay, so I have all the parts taken apart here, and now it's time to assemble it. I did not find any assembly instructions. I don't know if they're press fit or glue fit, although I think they might be mostly press fit. 
So I'm just going to see what happens. Stay tuned. Well, come along. That's it. There you go. Come on along and you'll see too. So these go together like so. And then these are supposed to go in there. They have to be made to sort of snap in here. And they sort of do, okay. There we go, so there's one. I guess it does, it should move up, maybe. I guess we want a bit of flashing in there that seems to be getting in the way, all right. Oh, sort of like that. Well, it turns out I'm out of super glue, so I'm just going to try to push this together and hope it holds. Not exactly the best fit, but it is a pressure fit and it is holding. So it's an X-wing, and these wings don't go this way. They go that way. Who oh, no. knew? So I took the thing apart and I will put it back together. Now I didn't have instructions, but I could have brought a picture with me. I didn't. That was a mistake, but I don't care. Let's continue. Well, they go in, they're just not super robust. Another place where glue would be useful. All right, so there you go. Look at this thing. This is awesome. Look at that. Now, I am not entirely sure this thing needed to be done in kit form. It probably would have been able to be printed just as nicely and just as easily without all those little sprues, which I think was kind of an affectation. But it kind of made it fun. It kind of made it feel like building one of those old model kits. And I haven't built one of those old model kits in a really long time. So it was kind of neat just cutting it out and snipping it apart and putting all the pieces together. And I mean, the model is pretty cool. It's, it's really nice. And what's, what I find amazing is just how good the multicolor printing looks when, you, when it comes straight out of the printer. This is four colors. Well, technically two colors and you know, technically one color, it's red. Plus you get white, gray, and black, but we'll call it four colors because it's four different spools of filament. And um, I didn't do any painting. All I did is put it together. I did do a tiny bit of gluing because these things just were really fragile and wouldn't stick still. So it wouldn't stay still. So I, I glued them down. But otherwise it's mostly press fit and it's, it's just really cool. So for Advanced Geekery, my name is David Gowards. Go out there and build something awesome. And stay on target. Stay on target. Stay on target. Stay on target. Hey, what do you want? May the force be with you? You can have that too. I'm wearing a Star Trek t-shirt. Give me a break.